Well, back on Thursday, the United States launched 50 Tomahawks at Syria. And the day after the strike, Russia made a response to this situation. They respond by nullifying the military agreements made with the U.S. The first agreement was communication with Russia, you know, to deal with ISIS and whatnot, to fight against these global, global terrorist organizations. The second agreement is letting our, our airplanes, our fighter jets, drones, into Syrian airspace to attack ISIS. But because of this nullification of these agreements, ISIS is going to proliferate right because of this. Now, if we want to deal with ISIS, we can't because we have to get friendly with Russia again because, you know, the only way we can fight ISIS if we get permission from Russia to attack these ISIS stronghold. Hold, I mean. Now, Syria, Russia, and I guess Iran have been attacking ISIS strongholds, basically bunker busting them to smithereens since they agreed to attack them. And because of this, we may not, <clears throat> I mean, we may not send fighter jets or drones at ISIS strongholds without being attacked by Russia or Iran, for that matter. What a way to start a nuclear war. Now this new Cold War that's been going on, which it is a new Cold War, kind of has gotten warmer because of this shit. And if we try anything to go to like Syria to take out ISIS, we might heat up the Cold War which will get all thermal and whatnot. And of course, with cities in the U.S. will become vaporized by nuclear bombs. And we don't want that. No sir. Now, technically, this gives the Freedom, freedom Caucuses leverage to do whatever, whatever they want. It encourages it <clears throat> basically encourages them to get Congress to start a war that we don't need. It's like we never learned anything from Iraq at the time. And because of this I don't know. I guarantee McCain is pretty happy about this, and he wants a war. McCain and all the other chicken hawks and whatnot, they don't care if there be like dead kids and dead soldiers and whatnot, or people dying in the fucking desert to the point where they start bleaching in the desert sun because of this. They don't care. They don't care if dead bodies start stinking up the Middle East because of this. Because they want war. They want to go to war constantly. And like I said, I will call out Trump for fucking up. And he fucked up on this, so I called him out on it. Now, does this mean I abandoned Trump 100%? No. I still haven't abandoned him yet, but to tell you the truth, this may cost him his re-election because a lot of people voted for Trump, 
so we can avoid getting into a fight with Syria and turning it into the Iraq of today, you know. Thing or turning it into Libya like we did when we killed Gaddafi. Because look at Libya. It's a fucking shithole now. Thanks Obama. Thanks Hillary for destabilizing Syria. Thanks W for destabilizing Iraq. We don't need these proxy wars. They do no good for us. Now some people are saying that these 50 tomahawks launch at a Syrian airbase is a show of strength towards the Chinese. I don't think it is. And what makes you think the Chinese will be intimidated by us with that muscle power? Maybe they'll be afraid that the United States might respond and nuke China and whatnot, but we're going to keep China intimidated and we got to keep doing that. I think it's kind of stupid to show power that way because we spend like 90 million dollars bombing Syria, which is another waste of money. And of course, Trump was doing like good for a while in office. Like, I think he prevented Ryan Care from passing. And I guess he was planning to like work on border security, simplifying the tax codes. And of course, working on the economy. Then he goes do this shit on Syria. Like what the fuck? He had it. He got it good and just fucks it up like that. So much for re-election. Even if he simplifies the tax code, be code. I mean, it beef up the security of the around the borders by. Sending by like, deporting illegal lawbreakers and bring reforming immigration back to the way it was before the 1960s, I guess. I don't think it's gonna help him to get re elected. Now, I'm kind of worried that this is gonna affect the. Um, what? Oh yeah, this is gonna affect the midterm elections because people might vote Democrat just to fuck up Trump's, you know, which is bullshit because voting for somebody with D or a R behind their name, I mean in front of their name or whatever, is bullshit. You vote for somebody if they're good or not, just to say. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully we don't end up in a full-scale war right now. I'll be fine if he decided, if he decides to send military to, I mean, to North Korea to take on that crazy... Kim Jong-un guy or send support against send support for North I mean South Korea and Japan to take on North Korea but this I don't support this I think the better thing is not to meddle in the Middle East regardless of what it should have been it should not be our business you know so that's all I got to say about the serious strike aftermath. So I'm Wicked Wonka and I'm signing out.